Hey guys, so yeah, we haven't heard about Daisy Chin in a while, but now she's coming up, popping up on Duke the Don's podcast. Not even a podcast, really. It's just him streaming. Uh, he's doing some live stream, and she's going to be talking about any updates that she's had. I think it's going to be interesting because we did a couple of videos about it, and I wanted to see personally. Before I just start watching the videos myself, I'd rather watch it with you guys. As I said, we're doing the live stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. I'll see you there. We got Yaya Cakes here. She's talking with me, talking about Dairy Queen. Let's get into the video. To another show. Now, stop everything, folks, okay? Because this show is actually going to be pretty serious. We got a lot to talk about, a lot to break down. Now. Okay, it, it's very important. Now, how did this all come about, and why do we decide to investigate this a little further? Well, because you know, some of y'all been hit me up like Duke, Duke, have you seen this? Daisy's out there in Miami doing her thing. Duke, what do you say to this? All right, what do you have to say? Clearly, you know what this was. What a pregnant woman would be doing is this? Is this how a person should behave if they're pregnant, Duke? Right. First of all, y'all don't know shit about what people are going through and this bullshit that, you know, and they just imagine what the fans are being attacking you for no reason, all this crazy stuff. A lot of y'all don't understand, especially why you're pregnant. Now, I'm certainly I don't, I don't have an explanation for that. Right. But I'm sure that we're going to get to the bottom of it. OK, because it's a very important thing. But one other thing is a big conversation on what's going to happen with the future between uh, Daisy, <laughs> Fresh, the baby, all of that, okay? Now, here's the thing. I can sit here and just explain everything to you. I can sit here and just, you know, try to break this down and better rationalize it for you. But I got you one thing even better, okay? I got you one thing better. We're going to have Daisy actually explain it herself, all right? Hi, guys. Say hi. Why is she even on this guy's channel? It's He has, like... Maybe he's bigger on other platforms, but he has like 20,000 subs. Not that that's it. That's a lot to me anyways. But <laughs> not uh, Usually like, you know, Fresh and Fit, you know, Abba and Preach type of deal. I mean, Abba and Preach have millions. Fresh and Fit is like 1.5. And to be like going on somebody like, I don't know if she's like their friends or something. Maybe he knows her like outside of work or something. But she like trying to hit every single point to try to get her story across or whatever is going on. Because she did show up on... Like we saw the video we did before was on the tree video. Um, and she was also an upcoming YouTuber as well. So it's interesting. Maybe we should come on here. Maybe come on this show. <laughs> Hi, the camera. Uh, do you Hi, need guys. water? Yeah, yeah, please. Baby, can you get us some water? Thank you. Thank you. Papi, you. Oh, dang. So, um... Got the Latina. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, yeah, cakes. <laughs> Got the Latina in the background over there. Papa quiere agua también. That was funny. Out of nowhere. I thought it was going to be another Asian lady, to be completely honest. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for watching. And thank you, Duke, for yeah. letting me be here. And yeah, so. Um, and she's very soft spoken. I've been pregnant since uh, uh, March 1st. I've shown you all the receipts. I mean, there's no way I can fake it. And it's also, there's a document about doctor's announcement. So as you know, that's no way I can fake it. So I swear to my family that the pregnancy is true and the baby is fresh. It's his baby, okay? Um, okay. Because all the stress that's been going on for the past month, it caused me a lot of emotional damage and I've been Oh yeah, but let's be honest, like I guess it, she did kind of put the stress on herself as everybody was saying, like, why are you making everything public? It's your decision to make all this stuff public. Otherwise, you know, fresh would have just tried to put it under the covers. But it wouldn't be this much publicity, this much stress, this many people going to her profiles and then trying to talk with her and everything, trying to get their word in, get their two cents in. It wouldn't be that like that. It'd be something completely different, but it wouldn't this be this much stress on her if she had not brought all the receipts to the public. But she has her own motives for doing her own thing. So, hey, it's on her. It's starting feeling a lot of panic and like, like it's just like a lot of going on. Like, um, you know, every time I'm public, I'm just trying to get myself together and try, trying to be positive and to show you guys and show other women 
like a good example that we are strong, even though we are going through some kind of situation in life. Life is not always perfect, so no matter what, we have to be strong. I have to be out there for myself. Um. Yeah. So um, I'm not gonna be able to keep the baby. Um, I know there's a lot of boys been talking about. Um, she's been baby trapping. She's planning the whole. And so she said she just she's not gonna be able to keep the baby after all this, and then after all she was saying about God and everything. She says she's not gonna keep the baby. And maybe okay, we're. This playing this like kind of devil's advocate. Maybe it's like a health related problem because of the stress. Maybe it's not actually her decision. Because if it's her decision, after all the stuff she said previously about it's a godsend because she couldn't get pregnant before, and then she turns around and then she's like, "Well, can't keep it. Sorry." And then, uh, dang, super hypocritical. Sorry, you know. There's no reason if like if I want a baby trap him, why would I decide not to keep the baby? Because, but that's other people's opinions, like the baby trap and all the negative connotations and stuff. If you want to have the kid, then you keep your kid. It has nothing to do. Like, it obviously has something to do with fresh, but that's your body, right? So like, hey, no, don't worry about other. That's like it sounds like everybody's comments and all this publicity and the media. It's just getting it. It's getting to her head, obviously. I actually planned the baby with him. Do you guys understand? I've been taking a lot of supplements since since January. Okay, since January, like the day I went back to China, I told all my friends I'm not gonna, cause I'm not, I'm a social drinker. I don't like alcohol. I used to do bodybuilding. Alcohol is just not my hobby. So um, I've been planning to. Keep myself healthy. Hey, know, what's up, Exile? Taking supplements in order to get pregnant, in order to plan our baby with Walter, Walter Weeks. So I actually manifested this baby. She manifested, and God gave me the baby. So can you imagine? I was very emotional when I had a video call with him. When I had a voice call with him, I was actually very emotional. Let's pause it here. Live stream got people talking in the chat and live stream exiles here. Yeah, yeah, cakes. The addiction. I see. Oh, yeah. You're kind of glad for the baby's sake. Got people saying they got for the baby's sake. Yeah, I guess because then when we brought up into this and then dad doesn't really want the kid and all that stuff and like all this confrontation and everything. So I guess it's good for the baby. She said she she willed it into existence though. So what what does that say? Now that now she's saying she doesn't want it though. Because God actually gave me the baby. God gave me what I want. Of course, I wasn't going to like kill it. I'm not gonna kill my baby because I planned the baby with him. But just everything like after everything's going on, like really like. I just I don't I'm not gonna be a single mother. I don't want my baby grow up without a father. Even until now, he's not showing up. I ask him to do a DNA test. I ask him to speak out. He refused. Instead, he's been acting like a fucking child、oh, dang, on、him. the show and playing a song like. Oh,、uh, like, dang! That's even more publicity for the single mom guy. Yeah. The single mom. That's a good song, honestly. It's just because it's using Doja Cat's freaking background like that.、Ah. So she's letting him off the hook because she he knows maybe she was hoping that he was gonna end up being a good father, but now she's like, oh well. Now I'm seeing like everything after after all this. Maybe her ultimate plan was I'm gonna show all the receipts. You know, I'm gonna get him out, shame him in public. I'll shame him to be a good father. And now it's been it's been like what a week or two, and she's like, "Well, that hasn't worked out so far." So, and maybe maybe trying to shame somebody to be a father does not work as as well as I thought it would. Uh, so now she's going back on what she was saying. Dang, celebrating me being single mother, but you guys, 
you're not gonna get away away with this because I'm not gonna be a single mother. I'm not letting my child grow up without a father. That's not fair. I grew up in a single family, and my mom left us when I was ten. I know how it feels. It's horrible, cause when I was young, like, like my schoolmates, my, like, like people from school, they've been laughing at me. The comments here on this video are kind of weird. This guy said, "Guys, she isn't pregnant. She was never pregnant. Only lose it here is Ava." I mean, that's the thing. So now everybody's gonna be saying, you know, the A word is murder. So now she's gonna get all that negative connotation brought onto her. Maybe it was the stress that did it. We never, I don't know. I doubt she's going to go into those kind of details here. But she could all, a lot of people are going to say that she was never pregnant and somehow just made up all everything. And now since she knows that Fresh isn't going to be coming and she's not going to be able to get him back or whatever. Um, now she's going to be like, well, I, was, I lost the baby or whatever. And everybody, a lot of people are saying that she needs to assume. Tell me what you think in the comments once this video goes up. Me like, why don't you have a mom, you know? It's just very complicated, and and I know how it will affect my baby. So, <laughs> yeah. Exile said the single mom song. <laughs> yeah, Yaya Kicks does not like that song whatsoever. It's a good song. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be able to keep the baby. Yeah, that's it. Everybody's saying Thank soon. You. Yeah, don't worry about it. You got I wonder why she didn't go to Abba and preach though. Like she already talked with them before to to relay this kind of info. Maybe yeah, I don't understand because she's making it a public statement essentially. The news, folks. All right. So again, fresh. Y'all are. This is crazy, right? This is the kind of message that they put out there. They want to talk about how the nuclear family is the bedrock of society and the foundation and all this other bullshit. But then when push comes to shove, you see exactly the kind of men these people are. Absolutely disgusting, monsters, celebrating, getting your fans to attack her, banning her Instagram account. You got people stalking her all over the place. This shit's just weird, all right? But there you have it, folks. Uh, those are the reasons. Again, I'm not a woman who has to make all these decisions or has to go through any of this, right? I'm not that. But it's just one of the main things that you got to understand, this is what she's going through. Like women, I, some of y'all in the chat right now, y'all let me know if y'all understand it. I don't. But what I do know is this shit's hard because you're alone in this crap, right? But um, Daisy, is there anything else you want to say? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll let you say it. And then... So uh, there's a woman that said that so the reason, the main reason why I chose to expose him is because that's something that I would not accept for a man to do that to our two women. So we are now creating a charity. We are going to do donation to the other women that's out there who needs help. Because even for some teenager girls, Maybe they're in the same situation as me and they can't tell their parents and they're jobless what they're going to do. So she's opening up a charity to help other girls now? Ah, that doesn't seem very, I don't know, it seems kind of sketchy. So now you're saying you're getting rid of the baby and then now you're, so you, the, the comment right after that is that you're opening up a charity. Exile says it must be a New York thing. I would have called it Abba and Preach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would have called it Abba and Preach too. If you're making this type of... And then she's announcing a charity. Like, wouldn't you want that to go more... Maybe she's making her rounds. I, I don't know. Now She wants to get out her charity now. Because why would you say, like, oh, I'm not keeping it, and then immediately be like, oh, okay, well, we're helping another charity. And who... What Help other girls what? These are grown women. Like I'm, I see what you're, she's trying to get at, but these are grown women that don't need, like they know what they're doing. They're, they're grown. They're adults. You're help, helping them. How? I don't understand. What's the charity? You're going to like break them off some money for talking with well-off guys. I, I don't understand what the charity. Cause you know, um, so, um, I think we are going to set a goal fund. I'm not going to keep anything from me. 
for me because I don't really need the money. Every charity says that, but then they have outrageous operating fees. So I mean, like, what's the what's the real catch here? Money, because I just want to help the other women out there. I want to help the community that's out there who's going through the same situation as me, and yeah, that's uh, that's why that's why I chose to expose the whole thing because there are actually a lot of women out there that's going through the same thing and they may not be strong is she just talking about like having us being a single mom because she's not going to be a single mom though she's she says she's getting rich she's not so she's not going through with the full thing i don't understand <laughs> who's the charity for are you going like can you guys in the comments in the comments let me know because i that's absolutely i don't it's completely confusing so yeah it's like her charity gonna be for birth control like so you don't have to get pregnant by these rich influential guys because that's only that's who she says she likes she likes guys that make seven figures that aren't boring that like to travel all that stuff but now she's gonna make a charity for the girls that mess with those because she said She's making a cherry for the girls that are in the same situation as her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. So girls that are in the same situation as her going out buying, you know, just your regular girls, $15,000 bracelets, $30,000 bracelet that she split with Fresh, you know, going on rich, lavish vacations, traveling the world. You know, those girls, that's, what, that's who the charity is going to be for. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Throw it on the comments. Tell me what you think. They may not be, uh, they not not be, uh, they not have enough courage or brave to, to speak it. You know, so um, yeah, guys, let's just uh, uh, go help uh help other women as as much as we can, and I'd love to help out. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you good. You good okay personally i think we should just too fresh but hey you got that coming but um chat that's what we got for you today you got the exclusive yeah the most she could even sue for is like defamation or something right the most she could sue for like because now she doesn't have anything else like what is she gonna sue for she's got the charity though and abba already said he was gonna give money so that was it for that one i'll see you guys in the next video peace